Good afternoon, you all in the world. Uh, this is your friend Joe Jacon. We here with another chapter of my shadowing exercises for everyone who wants to utilize them as a guide to make the his or her own learning with the English language in a commercial way. That means that we are going to learn English language in order to practice some sort of a commercial or scientific or technical profession. Okay, I'm going to learn this shadowing exercise. Shadowing means hearing at some English uh, text uh, spoken by someone and try to repeat the words and the intonation and the same grammar, I mean, almost automatically. But in this process, you are going to improve uh, the, the functioning of your muscles and of your phonetic apparatus. Let's start with this lesson right now. Having the right types of investments is important, but having the right type, but of, having the right vehicle type of investment just vehicle is just as important. And today I'm going to talk, about, going to talk about the nine reasons why you should five invest five in a five, five begin, five to nine plan like just before we begin. Remember to like, subscribe, and share to our channel and uh, be sure to include it in the comment section below or send us a message and we'll be sure to cover it in a future topic and um, why you should not invest in a, a five to nine plan be sure to look at our other video the five reasons why a five to nine plan may not be the right choice for you who knows what is five to nine plan we are going to speak about this in this showing session who cares about the visual content but we are going to focus on the speech on the spoken word the best reason to this reason to use a five to nine plan to save for college is because of the tax free growth in if the money is used for college and eligible related expenses the money can grow tax free which is a huge savings now a lot of people ask what can the money be used for the college well the five to nine plan is extremely flexible allows you to use the money in many many different ways for example the money can be used to pay or for room and board it could be used to pay for books and supplies it can be used to be paid to be paid for computers connect and internet connect you can also use the ten thousand dollars of it in a lifetime to pay for student loan payment payments of student interest and according to the tax cuts and jobs act that was packed and passed in 2017 you can use ten thousand dollars a year of five to nine plans tax free for k-12 education now keep in mind not all states conform to this k-12 education expenditure that was passed on the tax cuts and jobs act but on the federal level it is not includable in the income the second reason is why is like like because many states offer a tax deduction in you contribute to that state five to nine plan so for example arkansas arizona missouri montana and a whole list of other states offer tax deductions if you participate in that state's five to nine plan now keep in mind you have to be a resident of that state so if you are a montana resident if you want to set up a five to nine plan to get that tax reduction in montana you have to participate in a montana five to nine plan the same applies if you are in Arizona or if you're in Missouri states like California or other states don't offer tax deductions. So if you're a, a California resident, since you don't get a tax deduction for a California 529 plan, your best option is to look around to see what other states offer the best investment choices for 529 plans and choose those. Keep in mind you are not going to get a tax deduction. If you live in a state like California does not offer you a tax deduction, the reason why like five to nine plans 
smog is because it's actually the parents are set for all and parents are set so if you're a parent or a grandfather and you set up a five to nine plan for your child or your grandchild you are the one that actually owns that asset so if you're a parent and one of the benefits of doing that is because you are able to change the beneficiary the child is actually the beneficiary of that account so if i am a parent and i set up a five to nine plan for my child and my child decides not to go to college for whatever reason i can change the beneficiary to someone else another child a niece or a nephew or i can also change the beneficiary to myself and still reap the benefits of the five to nine plan the fourth reason why i love five to nine plans as a great way to save for college is because there is no income limitations so unlike an IRA where I, you, if your income is above a certain amount, you are not able to deduct an IRA contribution or you are not able to put into a Roth IRA, the 529 plan does not have that income limitation. So you could make as much money as you want and still contribute to a nine. 5 to 9 plan for your child or your grandchild in fifth, fifth reason you should consider a 5 to 9 plan contribution limits are really really high so this is a different than some limitation which there is no one the contribution limit is determined determined by each state's 5 to 9 plan and they can charge between 200,000 that means that you can put in a lot a lot of money into a 5 to 9 plan and have that here mark for college now i just mentioned one of the reasons one of the other benefits benefits of the five to nine high contribution limit that you can put into each of the five to nine plans now keep in mind according to the IRS, you contribute to a nine five five to nine plan is considered a gift a year per person gift limitation if you contribute more than that then in general you have to file a gift tax return on or it's a, you have to pay gift taxes however one of the benefits of the five to nine plan is you can front load up to five years of a gift to a five to nine plan that remains is right now as if you as an individual for more to than fifteen thousand dollars into a five to nine plan you have to file a gift that return if you are married and two of you front, but you can front load that so that way you can do five years worth of gifting one year of it so if it has one individual five times 15 to 70 five thousand dollars you can put into a five to nine plan or if you are married five hundred and fifty thousand into the five to nine plan without triggering any gift taxes that's a huge benefit now keep in mind if you don't do that yet you have to make sure you're not putting gifting or any other money so that same individual otherwise they're going to incur gift taxes another great benefit of the five to nine plan is as to january 1st 2018 you can up to one ten thousand a year of your five to nine plans or own k-12 education was the result of the tax cut uh, that means that if you got a, a child that's in private school and you want to use those funds to pay our your private school tuition you can use it up to ten thousand dollars a year tax free to pay for k-12 education now one thing if mind you are doing that is that not not all states conform to the tax cuts and for example if you're in a for example if you are in a state like california and you use ten thousand dollars you may not be taxable to you in on a federal level but you have to adjust to your california income to show that you use the ten thousand dollars and penalty on that ten thousand dollars with rural well Oh, okay, almost eight minutes of shadowing with this subject matter. And it's like going to the gym, uh, English phonetic exercise gym. Thank you very much. We'll see each other next time.